so hot today seriously warm once you're out of that wind as well it's it's sweaty and i've got a pair of shorts on as well just gotta watch this stuff it can be unforgiving if you slip around here it's it's hectic right, i'm gonna try and make my way down here somehow it's uh well good afternoon welcome back to another little video just not been feeling the fishing lately and uh sometimes i think it's best just to have a break when you're not feeling it and you're just fishing and fishing fishing and it's just not going your way and fishing isn't that great and yeah just not feeling it I haven't got the mojo so i thought i'd just give it a break for a couple of weeks now i've been injured a little bit I've had a bad knee that i've been going on about now that plus losing the mojo a little bit it was uh yeah it was just good to take a break and just enjoy a bit of time away from fishing i have come back a little bit more hungrier so today i'm just going to take it easy i haven't got a car at the moment so i'm all on foot and push bike so i've left my house which is over there and i've cycled to an area where i have fished before in other videos um, an area where i fished for bass and wrasse and if you go back to one of my old videos i also got absolutely crushed by a wave here and it smashed all my gear into the water now it's flat today it's so flat it's actually low tide and there's no swell so hopefully that's a recipe for some safe fishing now the plan of action is to just get a, a bend in the rod a nice bend in the rod would be lovely i'm not expecting any bass today it's a small tide it's low tide there's not really any movement through here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just jig some soft plastics along the bottom looking for wrasse so as you can see boulders everywhere absolutely everywhere and this is underneath us for the next 30 40 foot straight out there and then there's a little drop and then it's sand and there's some rocky bits and rocky outcrops everywhere so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to whip a soft plastic along the bottom looking for those wrasse touching and feeling and then hopefully when the water rises later before the sun goes down we can get into some bass maybe bass is a, a 10 percent chance wrasse oh, i reckon 60 65 percent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera away. I'm going to set up my gear. I'm going to stick a few soft plastics to jig heads. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start fishing. Let's do it. These are the soft plastics I'm going to be using. These are FDK soft baits. They're like a fish minnow, but much cheaper. Now, I've got nothing against fish minnow and fish in together. I love fish products. They're amazing. But fish minnows fishing for wrasse are going to get ripped up the tails are going to get sliced up and they're expensive you know they are very good and out in the kayak cannot beat them but when i'm targeting wrasse i use a cheaper version so nothing against fish mate your products are amazing you guys i love them to bits but when wrasse fishing i like a small paddle tail a greeny brown color and yeah something cheap because the wrasse are going to smash them up so what I've done here is I've put the body on a fish minnow head and then also brought the hook through the main body and I've pushed that right up against the head a little bit of super glue behind the head try not to stick your fingers to the lure like so like that because if that happens it's end game right here and you just want to make sure that lure is stuck to the head like so and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that in the sun a little bit and make sure it dries so that's nice and glued onto there now we're just going to have to set the hook and then she's good to go. A 
there we have it bit of ras candy what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that onto the rod and then hopefully we can get into some fish let's go Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that go to the bottom and then just jig it slowly back along. You want to keep as much pressure on the lure as possible. You want to feel those bites. First cast, no fish. Wow, it's so warm. Oh, it's so clear here as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and target a ras in this area now. I've moved over from what I was using before. I lost it straight away pretty much. So let's give it a burn. Maybe try and get a ras. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm totally out of the wind here. It's not too deep, but it's not too shallow. It's very bouldery. And I'm just gonna have a little flick for a ras, see if there's anything in here. Wow, it's so warm. I'm gonna do is just keep moving, fishing and moving. See if we can find a fish in a hole. Well, I've had a crap time, I've not had anything and I've just lost a really good fish. So I'm just gonna try again. I think it was a really big wrasse. I was just jerking a little fishous soft body along the bottom. And I got absolutely crunched. One of those bites where you don't even get a tap. It was just a full on inhale. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a solid fish as well. Oh, shit. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, wow. Was not expecting this. Oh, am I going to be able to get to this fish? I hope so. Come on. Yes! Boom! Oh, I've not boomed for a while. Come on! Whoa! That's a solid fish. I was not expecting that at all. My heart is going. Oh, I've been fishing for rass for so long and 
tapping away, tapping away, and I lost a really good fish a second ago. So I cast back in the same direction after just uh, messing with my line because I had a little bit of chafe and out of nowhere I just got boof, boof, boof. Oh, I'm so excited. And uh, sun's going down and I've just had a nice bass hit me. Come on. <sighs> Taking on a, a fishes lure that the guys from fishes have sent me over tiny little lure and it's on a little jig head uh, a savage gear let's get him out the net oh mate oh he's chubby come and go oh look at that with the sun in the background i've not had a fish like that for ages i'm really excited fought so hard as well Oh, it looks so beautiful. Check out the flank on him. And taking my lure in there. This is the little fish lure, Fisher's Lorenzo. Lorenzo Fisher's lure, tiny thing. Absolutely tiny little thing. And this fish just engulfed it. I'm using a, a savvy 12.5 at top and look look at the size look at the size of that lure compared to that fish shows you they don't just want the big lures seriously happy of that seriously happy of that Not even a beautiful fish, maybe four pounds. It's got a beautiful flank on him. A really lovely fish. I hope those pictures do it justice, but let's get you back, girl. There you go. Straight away. Into the sun. Come on! Come on! Yeah, going back to that lure. This is the fishes. I'm unsure what it is. Lorenzo Fishes sent me a few packs. It's kind of in like a minnowy color, like a little pollocky. I don't know, it's got a spotty belly as well. But yeah, that's worked wonders. Lucky I had the net on me as well. It's a bit of a small handle. It's not really best for a rocky platform like this situation, but it's done me well. I'm so happy, so happy to be back. Lost the mojo recently and I've really not enjoyed my fishing, but that's turned it around. Yeah, boy! night came down here about two hours ago maybe two and a half hours ago and i caught literally nothing and i moved and moved and moved and that's the key with fishing at this time of the year if you're not catching something in one place go somewhere else move 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 that's all i can say 
and eventually it worked and I had a tiny little lure on. I was actually fishing for wrasse and I got slammed pretty much straight away and it was kiting off to the side and then it came off and I was like, damn. So I had a bit of frayed leader. I sorted it out and then what I'd done is I just banged it back out in the same place, kind of tap, 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 hoping for that wrasse to come back and then out of nowhere, a bass picked me up. Um, three and a half, maybe four pound. It was fat, nice and chubby and it gave a really good account of itself. So, as you can see, the sun is pretty much dipped now. It's gone and it's starting to get gloomy and dark. And these boulders can be very unforgiving. I've fallen a few times and I know a few boys that have fallen on these as well. So I think I'm going to pack up soon, play it safe, cycle home. And then maybe I'll go out later when it gets a bit darker. But for now, I'll just leave you with this stunning sunset.